what's up youtube let's get right into this video make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel right now gang we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers really we trying to hit two million but let's make the goal for right now 1000 subscribers yo i need everybody that's that's watching right now to hit that sub button hit that like button and even turn on post notifications gang all right come on run me up to 1000 subscribers gang please yo the yeah, 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 brother support means so much man okay like it means so much bro you know i'm getting a little bit of traction with the youtube and stuff like that you know but let's get right into this video gang so this is the most disturbing crimes of politicians using the children of your supporters to controlling social media companies manipulating the stock market and stealing taxpayer money for their lavish lifestyles here are some of the worst crimes of politicians Starting with possibly one of the biggest talking points leading into the 2020 election. In December 2019, a repair- right, bro, bro, you know a lot of these niggas be, be, you know, they was chilling with, um, Jeffrey Epstein and shit at the island and shit, nigga. The fuck? Like, these niggas ain't safe, bro. These niggas ain't safe. In Wilmington, Delaware, was in possession of a laptop that had laid around for some time as the owner of the laptop did not pay or return to claim it. The shop owner had held the laptop for over a year already, and his repair job was to recover all the data on the laptop. Looking for more information on the client who hadn't paid and who had dropped his laptop off, the shop owner started looking through the documents on the hard drive, and what he found on the laptop were emails, photos, and documents that would become the epicenter of a political storm. The documents and emails suggested that Hunter Biden, son of future President Joe Biden, was involved in some very dodgy business dealings, particularly with Ukraine and China. And while the laptop was Hunter Biden's, there was a lot of evidence on the- wasn't Hunter Biden and the nigga that got caught for sniffing cocaine in the White House, bro. Yo, these niggas, man. These niggas is really above the law, bro. And he ain't even go to jail for real, bro. And how the fuck, bro? Bro, I don't know, bro. Hunter Biden looks like a like a fucking 50-year-old, uh, 20-year-old nigga. Like, bro, a 50-year-old nigga that his dad is still rich. He's still fucking, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? He looks like Hunter is living that life still, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He probably lives a crazy life, bro. Like, being at that level, man. Like, sniffing cocaine. You're the fucking president's son, bro. You can basically do anything you want. These niggas are shady, bro. They the shady. Laptop, pointing to then Vice President Joe Biden's involvement. It was instantaneously clear that Hunter has been leveraging his family name for financial gain. This is known as the practice of influence peddling. Many emails contained a reference to the big guy, which most interpreted as a nickname for Joe Biden himself. The documents pointed to Joe Biden allegedly engaged in an extortion scheme where he was paid through Hunter Biden $5 million in exchange for certain unknown actions, where Hunter Biden would secure lucrative consulting contracts with foreign companies despite his lack of qualifications, particularly in in Ukraine just before the war, where he had many contracts with the energy industry that seemed very suspiciously connected to Bro, what the fuck is up with the internet, bro? Oh my god, she's always going fucking out, man.
Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch contracts with foreign companies despite his lack of qualifications, particularly in Ukraine just before the war, where he had many contracts with the energy industry that seemed very suspiciously connected to Joe Biden. Many of the contracts involved lobbying US officials and government agencies on behalf of these foreign entities. Despite the information that the American the niggas, man. now, there's still very little evidence of the work Hunter Biden did after securing the contracts. So we essentially Bro, if you're if you're um if you're the son of a fucking president, bro how hard is it just to like how hard is it not to start an illegal fucking business scheme like bro what bro do you know what i'll be doing if i was a son of fucking joe biden bro i'd be fucking trading the market bro like i would ask joe biden for like yo front me a million dollars bro and i'll never ask for anything again right right, right? i'll learn how to trade all right i'll learn how to trade That'll be it, bro. Like, I'll just be making money off that million. Boom. You know what I'm saying, bro? Man, these these guys are fucking crazy, man. Um, like these politicians, bro, they be they be eating people, cannibals, having sex with minors, like look at Jeffrey Epstein, bro. These people are all connected to Jeffrey Epstein, man went to these businesses and picked up bags of cash for an unknown reason, with almost no tax returns or really any evidence of business dealings. And despite multiple emails and messages referring to decisions from the big guy, Joe maintained that he knew about his son's business dealings. And this was all checked through, with no real influence on US government actions to benefit any of these foreign interests. Something that does seem unlikely, as one of the leaked messages from one of the Biden family associates even told Hunter, don't mention Joe being involved, it's only when you are face to face. There's also a leaked phone call between Bro, here's the thing about messaging, bro. You can never get away from leaked shit at that level, bro. Like, no matter how much encrypted fucking uh, uh, message uh motherfuckers you, you know message apps you're using encrypted message apps fucking uh wh what is it called uh what whatsapp bro fucking telegram bro it could all be retraced bro you know it could all be retraced it's it's never like it's nothing's never private you know nothing's ever private never honestly never like you're gonna have to really downgrade to some like fucking 2005 flip, flip phone like you know what i'm saying bro joan hunter in 2018 speaking directly about one of hunter's business deals where joe mentions hunter is in the clear hey pal it's dad it's 8 15 um on uh wednesday night if you get a chance give me a call not, nothing hurt you bro you don't even know you don't even know if that if that's fucking ai or not you don't even know if that's ai or not talking bro I thought the article released the thing on online was going to be printed tomorrow in Times was good. I think you clear. And uh, anyway, um, if you get a chance, give me a call. I love you. Who the frick is this black guy dancing? I'm car accident injury attorney Jared Blakely from Blakely Law. Fucking Firm. black and I'd like guy, to speak man. To you today about an important issue: car safety for our pets. Bro. These are my dogs. Fuck Kujo your car safety. And, nah, honestly. and I'm going to demonstrate how I keep them safe. Yeah, Additionally, Joe Biden dined with oligarchs from Russia and Kazakhstan who funneled millions of dollars to Hunter Biden and his business associates. In 2017, Hunter Biden and other associates working for a Chinese company called CFEC created a profit divide plan with the CEFC. This was a Chinese Communist Party linked energy company and Joe Biden would receive 10% of the profits, completely compromising his position as the president. Being entangled with the Communist Party of China, Joe Biden even used taxpayer money in Air Force Two to get Hunter to at least 15 countries where Hunter made business deals to enrich the Biden family. And at the same time, this business genius Hunter Biden was a complete maniac. Drugs, cracks, sex tapes, guns, prostitutes, driving 120 Bro. miles per hour. Prostitutes linked to Eastern European sex trafficking Holy rings. Shit. This is the lifestyle. Dude, this guy has lived that fucking that wall um Wolf of Wall Street fucking lifestyle, bro. Holy shit. Fucking strippers and shit. Escorts fucking cocaine snorting all that white shit you know damn bro you know that's a fucking crazy lifestyle man you know 
or somebody involved in more than just fraudulent business deals. He has nothing to do with business, no business acumen. He's a complete wreck, no discipline, and a fully deranged drug addict. Obviously, this is a big deal, hey, but man. it was how the president and those who supported him handled hey, the situation. Hey, man, I'll, I'll be fucking some hoes too if I'm Hunter Biden. <laughs> I'll be fucking a whole lot of pussy. I'll be fucking that shit up like a grave freaking stone chicken nugget. You know, man? Like, that is incredibly shit. alarming. Instead of allowing this story to play out in the public domain, just before Joe Biden was elected to be the president, social media platforms worked together to make sure he would become the president, taking unprecedented steps to limit the spread of the story. Because if this story became widely known by the public, it would completely ruin Joe Biden's chance of ever being president. So soon after the New York Post reported and promoted the Hunter Biden laptop story, Twitter employees elected to prevent it spread as much as possible. And the first thing they did was temporarily lock the New York Post Twitter account as they were the first ones to break the story, completely censoring one of the most famous newspapers out there, all because this exposed Joe Biden. And this was at the pinnacle of Biden's election campaign, and those running Twitter were primarily Democratic. That's at so least what lots what? of Republicans so would come you know to what? conclude. If Elon Musk was controlling t Twitter at that time, then he's definitely behind some shit too. But when Elon yeah. Musk took over Twitter, he oh. was able to see reality. While Trump was president, the government and the FBI were paying Twitter millions of taxpayer money to censor and suppress Hunter Biden's laptop story. As the Twitter files put it, the FBI and the intelligence community discredited factual information about Hunter Biden's foreign business dealings both after and before the New York Post revealed the contents of his laptop on October 14th, 2020. Additionally, the FBI made requests to mark and dismiss the reports of Hunter Biden's laptop as a Russian hack and leak operation. And it wasn't just on Twitter. This was happening on every social media company. If you spoke about the Hunter Biden laptop story, you would get censored and removed. Here's what Mark Zuckerberg- Hunter Biden laptop story. Like had to say about the censorship over at Facebook. I mean, basically the background here is the FBI, I think basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team, it was like, hey, just so you know, you should be on high alert. We thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. It on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. And we're talking about the FBI task team that was set out to remove disinformation by spreading misinformation regarding the laptop. Bro, the FBI will fucking smoke these niggas, bro. Like the FBI will fucking smoke these niggas, bro. You see what they did to the cash app, nigga? The cash app founder, nigga got stabbed, nigga. That was the FBI trying to cover shit up, trying to get power. The fuck you mean? The fuck you mean, gang? <laughs> Look, bro. <sighs> man, this world, bro. This world is fucking crazy, man. All right. It's fucking crazy. The FBI, man, you know, uh, that's one of the biggest gangs, huh? The FBI. Yeah, man. You know, fucking, they're on that shit. Propaganda. All to get Joe Biden into power. They were covering up something deep and was only benefiting one man, Joe Biden. And while covering up the Hunter story, Twitter was also suppressing Donald Trump and other Republicans. So how does a man who is not sitting in office have the FBI and social media websites like Twitter and Facebook all protecting the Biden family as a whole? Well, the F That's his family? That's Biden's family? These are some real white people, bro. Yo, she got J's on? What the fuck? Bro, she got J's on, bro? No way these are- no, no way those are J's. Have the FBI and social media websites like Twitter and Facebook, all protecting the Biden family. Bro, she got J's on, bro. Nah, she lit. She lit. Nah, she lit. Look at the outfit. Look at the... Look at the jacket. Look at the pants. She got the galaxy everything with the ice on. Yo, them shits look like J's, boy. Them shits is J's, man. Them shits is all fresh white. Yeah. She rocking that shit. Yes, sir. Yo, why she? Yo, why the girl beside Biden look like um, iCarly, bro? She look like iCarly. Look at this guy, bro. Damn, these are all like Rothschilds type shit. In a way, they're like fucking rich as shit. Fucking a part of Joe Biden and shit. 
economy as a whole. While the FBI appears to be single-minded and focused on helping Joe Biden by completely eroding the First Amendment and working with big tech to silence anything that criticizes the elite. And by suppressing the story, these tech companies effectively shield Joe Biden from potentially damaging revelations.